Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Oh, hey. What's up? Huh? What you so red in the face for? You have something you want to give me? Uh, sure, let me see. Uh huh? An invitation. Do you mind if I open it now? Or... And they're gone. Okay, then. Hmm. Let me see what this invitation has. Hmm. Oh, it's an invitation to a party. Slash slumber party? What are we, teenage girls? Yeah, oh, whatever, let's see it. Uh, oh. They have truth or dare, spin the bottle. Hmm, maybe you'll be in a, like a 90s sitcom. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Yeah, it looks pretty fun. I'm not a fan of the pin the tail in the naga, though. Honestly, they need to change with the times. Whatever, I'll chastise them when I get there. <laughs> uh, although that human always is super shy. I wonder what's up with them, anyway. They're so red and shy around me. I wonder if I scared them. I mean, yeah, I'm a huge naga, but come on, I'm not that mean. Sometimes. I, I mean, I've eaten a few people, but whatever, I'm just talking to myself at this point. <sighs> I might as well go. I wonder what they'll think of me when I get there. Well, only one way to find out. Hmm. Well, first, I need to get past algebra. <sighs> Ugh, finally, school's over. That was a nightmare. College definitely is not a place for Nagas. <sighs> or anyone, really. God, it's just so boring there. Anyway, let's see. Where was the location again? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's that little human neighborhood. Although I think there's a few monsters that live there. Isn't there a succubus that lives next door? I can't remember. It's been so long since I've been there. How old was I? Like five? Nah. It'll be interesting seeing the whole neighborhood though. God, last time I was there I digested that guy. He was a real tool. <sighs> he did taste good though. Hmm. Probably should stop speaking out loud about that. Someone will probably think I want to kill them. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's see. Huh. Yeah. Not that far of a... Well, I was about to say walk, but since I'm a Naga, would that be a slither? Not that far of a slither? Nah, I'll just go with walk. That sounds better. Although, I wonder if I could popularize that. Hmm. Well, whatever. Let's get going. Hmm, this looks to be the place. Doesn't look like anyone's here yet. Uh, maybe I have the wrong house? Yeah, I'll go knock anyway, just to make sure. Uh, oh, you already opened the door. Uh, hi. Um, yes, hello, I'm here. You didn't expect me to show up. Well, then why give me the invitation? You just took a shot in the dark? Well, um, I'm here. <laughs> why did I come? Uh, you invited me, um, I'm bored, and we have a weekend, so I figured might as well. If I get hammered tonight, or if something weird happens, I have all weekend to make it up, so that should be fine. I don't see anyone's here yet. Oh, uh, you gave a bunch of invites out, but you're not sure if anyone's going to accept them? Hmm. Well, I'm glad I showed up then. Uh, can I come in? Ah, thanks. Oh, wow, you really, like, kitted out the place. Snacks everywhere. And fruit punch. It's not spiked, right? 
Okay, good. Whew. Yeah, I, if I'm going to drink alcohol, I'd rather just drink it straight. I don't like surprises in that way. Not that I really can get buzzed off human alcohol, but you get the point. Oh yeah, I need much stronger stuff. Since I'm a much bigger, uh, I don't want to say monster, but, but you get what I'm trying to say. Since I'm a much bigger person, it takes a lot more to get me drunk, high, or even to hurt me in most senses. I'm just much stronger in every sense. Except the fact that they don't have legs, so I guess stairs are my biggest enemy. Then again, if there are stairs, usually there's a railing and I could just wrap around the railing. Yeah, just slither around it very easily. It's not that hard. Ah. Uh, is that the pin the tail on the naga? I, I hope you were joking about that, because to be honest, I don't feel like having a needle stuck in me. Ah, good. Ah, I'm glad it was a joke. Hmm? Uh... <laughs> what? I... No, I'm single. <laughs> I'm not dating anyone, so... You were worried that I wouldn't be down to play any of the games if I was dating? Well, I mean, no offense, but if I was dating, I wouldn't come to this party. I mean, I don't think my... If I had a partner, I don't think they would appreciate me uh, going to a place that usually ends up with uh, one-night stands. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. What else you got to show me? Oh, this is your kitchen, huh? Mm, nice kitchen. Uh... Dang, your fridge is pretty much empty. So, was that rude to check? Oh, I'm good. I'm, I'm glad. Hmm? Oh, I guess the sun is setting. What about it? You thought some people would be here by now? Well, I mean, it's only been ten minutes. I'm sure someone will show up eventually. How many of those invites did you give out anyway? <laughs> what? Uh... You... Put them on every locker you can find. Uh, no offense. This house is not big enough to host over a thousand people, if a thousand people even show up. You expected not that many would come. Yeah, I get that, but... Oh my god. I suppose we should just be thankful that you don't live in any of the dorms. The school would have your ass. Yeah, I live in the dorms. Do I have a roommate? Ah, nah, I live on my own. Closest thing I have to a roommate is this little, uh, I don't you call them, uh, moth girl that likes to live up in the corner of my room. She's pretty nice. She just kind of came in one day and was like, I claim this corner. And I'm like, I just kind of shrugged. Yeah, she's not a bad, but, uh, she can get annoying sometimes. I've thought about eating her at lunch. But she's pretty funny. Plus, she's actually pretty sweet. She always leaves me little pastries in the morning. Yeah, she likes to make blueberry muffins. It's really nice. It's kind of impressive uh, with her size. Well, I mean, okay, so you're, you're pretty big. Uh, I don't know. I, I think you're big anyway. I don't really know human sta uh, size standards, but... She's only about uh, two feet tall, and she basically claimed a corner in my ceiling. Well, actually, maybe she's more like one foot tall. Anyway, the point is she's very, very small compared to me, and she generally does nice things for me. She cleans the room and makes me food, and all she asks in return is just living in the corner, which, hey, she's getting... She's basically cleared me of chores and she makes me food, so can't complain. Oh, I think she's been seeing someone, uh, Kitsune. I think uh, she's a lesbian, I believe. Yeah, like she likes uh, girls. She's not into men, unfortunately for me. <laughs> well, 
I guess not really, unfortunately, because I don't think how, I don't know how we would, uh, anyway, not, not important. Um, let's see some more of your house, since it's just me and you. Uh, these are the bathrooms, good to know if I need to spew. How does Naga vomit work? Uh, I'd assume the same as humans? I never really thought about it. I mean, you have a stomach, I mean, sure, we have two stomachs that you know, right? Human stomach, tail stomach, digestion, safe stomach, you get the idea. But, I mean, when you throw up, it mostly comes from our tail stomach. So I guess it's just a deeper throw up. It burns more, I guess. Maybe? I mean, it still burns my throat. Hmm. Honestly, I've never really given it that much thought. So I guess that's my best assumption. I mean, if I was going to throw something up from my tail stomach, more than likely it would have bones or something. Uh, yeah, it'd have bones. You know I'm a nog, right? I devour my prey whole. It's just something I do. I can't really help it. That's just how I'm built. I'm built different. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Shut up. I am not a Giga Chad. Anyway, let's see. Mm. Yeah, pretty nice bathroom. Although I don't think I could really use it that much. It's not really built for uh, Nagas in mind, I don't think. I mean, look, if I tried to fit my whole tail in there, I'm pretty sure I could lapse the walls. And that's not very good when you're trying to go to the bathroom. All right, all right, you have more you want to show me. Okay. Your bedroom. All right, let's check it out. Hmm. Oh, crap, stairs. Uh, give me a moment. Uh, that's your railing, right? Should be fine for me to slither onto. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'm not super heavy when I'm slithering around things because I'm very agile. Watch. Ta-da, just sped all the way up the railing in less than two seconds. Much faster than your human legs. Although if there wasn't a railing there, then I guess I'd be pretty screwed, huh? <laughs> anyway, into the bedroom we go. Nice, it's a pretty nice bed there. And carpet. No, nothing wrong with carpet. It's actually easier for me to slither on, just it's interesting. Huh? You want to play one of the games with me to practice? Uh, sure. I don't mind what game you want to play. Truth or dare, huh? <laughs> well, I don't mean to brag or anything, but I am pretty good at that game. Yeah, I'm pretty open book, and I'll pretty much do any dare you really want me to. Yeah, for real. Lay it on me. Yeah, I'll go first. Why not? Lay it on me. Hmm. For the first set here, I think I'll have to go truth. Have I digested any humans before? Uh, that'd be, yeah, yeah, I have. Um, the story behind that is, uh, when I was living with my mom at the time, uh, you know the Lamia that, uh, runs the nearby grocery store? Yeah, that's my mom. And our landlord was just being a complete jerk. And we were trying to move out of the place, and he kept blocking us. We already paid our rent for that month, but he, was all, he wanted us to pay an extra month before we left. My mom kept telling her no, you know, and he kept forcing himself on her. And so, I being, you know, I mean, I was small back then, but I was still double your size, right? Even being that small and young. So I was very easily able to swallow him up, even if I was bulging out quite a bit. What happened to him then? I digested him. Like, I, I full-on bones, flesh. I mean, I threw up his skull later. Uh, I mean, I'm better at that kind of stuff now. Not that I go around eating people, but you get my point. Why do you look so scared? You really gonna eat you up? <laughs> Relax. Oh, you're not scared? Or intrigued. <laughs> Save that intrigue for later then, huh? <laughs> alright, it's my turn, alright? Hmm. 
Adair, tell me, are you afraid of snakes? Because <laughs> I do have a dare for you. Of course I do. I want you to kiss my tail. Do it. Go on. Do it. Or are you a chicken? Buck, buck, buck. <laughs> that got your goat. All right, go ahead. Do it. Kiss the tail. Hmm. That's right. <laughs> oh, the amount of pleasure and smiles that brings to me is immense. And kind of feels good. <laughs> but I suppose my turn's over now. Your turn. Hmm. Since I did a truth last time, I suppose I'll do a dare. Oh. Now that's an interesting one. <laughs> you want me to... Taste you, huh? Hmm. Oh, don't mind if I do. Hmm, not bad, not bad. I'd say you're a solid seven out of 10. Why only a seven? Oh, cause your clothes are in the way and well, unfortunately I can't devour you. So sad, too bad. <laughs> oh, trust me, if the rules weren't in place, I would 100% send you down my gullet. But I kind of like you, so. Luckily for you, you're spared. <laughs> that and, well, I'm not a huge murder guy. I mean, I might. If I did manage to get you down my gullet, I guess I wouldn't really like to want to let you out, but I guess I might let you out. But let's not think about that. That's kind of grim. Hmm? Oh, yes, I suppose it's your turn, huh? <laughs> or my turn. Hmm, since you did a dare last time, how about I ask you a truth? Will you agree to that? Great. All right. Hmm. Let me think of a good one here. Ah, okay. Have you ever gotten this close to a monster person before? No. Hmm. So am I really the first one that's ever given you the time of day? I mean, I know I can be a little bit of a jerk at school, but I'm not that bad, am I? <laughs> Good. I'm glad I wasn't that bad. I'm glad you don't think ill of me. I know I can be a little bit of a jerk. I don't try to be. It's just, I, I can't really help it, you know? I just get so competitive. Well, that and I really get into the feeling of things, you know? Once I start feeling a certain way, it's hard for me to not feel that way. And once I commit to an action, it's hard for me to stop. Yeah, like the buffet. You remember when I just went all to town on those chicken wings? Yeah, like that. Hmm. All right, I suppose it's your turn again. Since I did a truth last fall, I suppose I did a dare, didn't I? <laughs> I suppose it's your turn to ask me something. Hmm? Ah, uh, that's... Hmm. <laughs> That's a really personal question. But sure, I'll answer. No, the answer is no. I've never dated anyone before. I'm actually rather, <laughs> I'm actually a newbie when it comes to that kind of stuff, believe it or not. Surprised? I thought you would be. Oh, I suppose it is my turn to ask you something. Well, since I suppose I made you do a dare or a truth. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna break away from the game a little bit here and just ask you a question since you seem so infatuated and keep asking me questions related to it. Tell me. <laughs> 
Do you like me? No, 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 no. Not as a friend. Do you like me? Do you dream of me making out with you or fatuate yourself? Or do you find it intriguing to look at my tail or slimy mouth? <laughs> Interesting to note, isn't it? My sharp fangs, my deep throat, slimy mouth, long, long tail. <laughs> You're just so interested, aren't you? Well, how about this? What do you dare me to do? You dare me to eat you. Are you sure? <laughs> you know I'm not one to chicken out of a challenge. And if you want to dare me to do that, well... <laughs> All right then. But just know, you asked for this. Hmm. Do you like the feeling of my tail coiling around you? <laughs> mm, my tail just slowly constricting and letting go. Mm, no, I'm not going to hypnotize you. That wouldn't be as fun, now would it? Oh, you're already getting so red in the face. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy... Every second of this. Your smell was always so intoxicating in class. And now, I finally get a taste. I finally get to feel you squirm on the way down. Are you serious? 
to try and to push out. My flesh will hold you there. It will keep you there. And it will digest you. Oh, is the acid already starting to sting? <laughs> is the pain already seeping in? Are the screams I hear inside? Oh, how cute. <laughs> Your little screams are just so nice. Especially when they're muffled by all my flesh. Mm. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. My stomach will make short work of you. And when you're done, well... <laughs> I'll simply leave. And if anyone asks, I'll just say you weren't home. After all, I have a pretty clean record. Oh yeah, that landlord. No one ever found him. And I wasn't about to let information about him get out. <laughs> mm, I've been looking forward to this for a while. It's just so delicious. <laughs> oh wow, you're thrashing harder than your screams. Oh. Did I become quieter? Oh, don't give up now. We're having so much fun. Oh, your thrashing's becoming less. Are you getting weaker? Come on, keep thrashing. It feels so good. Come on. Come on. Mm. Oh, are you going to sleep? Good night, then, and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>